Hello, y'all. Today, I wanted to give y'all a real quick lesson about what the Bible says about um your future. Some of y'all, I'm 14 right now, so you know I'm not too worried about my future. But maybe some of y'all may be going off to college or something. And maybe graduating college and like, hmm, what can I do now? Well, let me tell you what the Bible says. Right now, I just got like a little pocket Bible, I guess you'd say. And it, I mean, it. I just got it at my school one time. And so, and I'm going to tell you, and it's got in here, like, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but like, um, points. So, like, if you want to read something particular, if you want to read something particular, you can, and it'll tell you, like, Bible verses and books and stuff you can read. But today we're going to be focusing on what the Bible says about your future. And there's uh, three main verses we're going to focus on. It's Matthew, where the book we're in is Matthew chapter 6, and we're going to start with verse 25. It says, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? That that was a six twenty five in Matthew. And now we're gonna read um uh verse thirty three and thirty four of the same uh chapter. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day it is its own trouble. Let me clarify on what that's saying. It's basically saying, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. It's basically saying, don't worry about it. It's all in God's hands. Because think about it. It said, uh, give me a second to find it. Actually, it says in verse 26, Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather in the barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than them? Than they? God put us at the top of the food chain. That means birds and everything else that's below us. And this, in Matthew chapter Chapter 6, verse 26 was saying, look, don't worry about it because God is taking care of all those birds. Don't you think you'll take care of somebody that's at the top of the food chain? Yeah. Yeah. God created everything you see. God created somebody to... Uh, produce these phones that I'm recording on and hopefully y'all are watching this video on and if y'all are God bless y'all and God's gonna take care of you so it's really there's no reason to worry about your future so like that, that was just a short little video thought I'd put that out there I mean I hope well let me try to find some more detail but, like, God, he's going to take care of you at any point in your life. Say you become 90 and you have to use a cane to walk. God's taking care of you then, too. No matter what stage of life you're in, God's going to be there to help you. And God will take you so far down into a pit. Like, you just kept digging yourself further and for further into a home. Hole. That you just gotta, you just gotta rely on him, on him only, so he brings you closer to him. And to that, he'll dig you, he'll let you keep digging that hole so deep that you just say, God, I've just dug myself into this situation even more, and I just can't, I can't do it. I can't. I just, I need you, God, and that's what he's gonna do. Now, that was just a short little uh, sermon 
teaching lesson all about what the Bible says about your future. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you will, please like and subscribe. I'm going to keep putting videos out there. But uh, let me just pray for y'all real quick and then I'll end this video. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for all that you did, Mr. Lowe. And dear Lord, just please be the men with no seats. Please be the government guy. Dear Lord, just please be everybody I know and that I've met. Thank you that you bless me with the words to say on this video. And hopefully this video touches many people's lives. And uh, it's through your son's name we pray. Thank you you sent your son to die on the cross to save our sins. And just in prayer, amen. Well, I hope y'all have a good rest of the week. It's it's Wednesday. Y'all might not see this till Thursday. But I hope y'all have a great day. And that y'all keep living for the Lord. Because that's what the Lord wants us to live for. And the Lord put us here on the earth as, for a purpose. And that purpose was to glorify Him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, if y'all want to, leave an amen down in the comments. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Uh, anything y'all want to. Uh, if y'all have a certain video, like a certain topic y'all want me to cover, I'm going to do my best to uh, cover that, and God bless y'all.